hi, hi. Hello to you. All right. So if you noticed in the last episode, you probably did. It just says score equals zero. I've got two pieces here. Wouldn't it make the most sense to have two scores? I think that would make a lot of sense, so let's do it. First of all, piece.gd. I'm going to click on the little script icon to open it. This doesn't have to be exported, but I'm going to because that's my right as a citizen. Export var score, and it's going to be an int. Remember, we're never going to give like 1.5. Well, unless you're making a decibel learning game. So let's go to where we even fool with the score. I believe that is in main.gd. Yeah, down here. When the question box leaves, it's supposed to give a point, right? So if point is true. Well, now look, 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 look. Given that the pink piece has a score, we can now talk about the pink piece score. And if we want to, we can talk about the blue piece score. So now we can award points that way. So let's let's eat this by if it's the pink piece's turn. If it's the pink piece's turn and the pink piece has correctly answered a question then we probably need to give the pink piece a point, right? So let's do it. Pink piece, hello. Pink piece dot score equals pink piece dot score plus one, which is actually stunningly similar to what we had before, score equals score plus one, but now we're talking directly to the pink piece. Okay, so we gotta write it right. Score label dot text equals. Okay, so this is long and complicated. Prob Let's start with pink. I would rather say pink instead of pink piece. I think the user is gonna think in terms of pink and blue instead of pink piece and blue piece. I think that's how they're going to think. I don't know, I can change it. So I've got that string right there, pink, colon, and then you have to put a space because any IDE, not just Godot, is going to count those spaces. Plus, and we want to put the pink piece score, but it's got to be a string. So let's do str pink piece score. Ah, oh, gee, but the blue piece has a score, too. Okay. Why? I'm going to do this down here, and Kiddo's going to yell at me, but I need you to see how this looks typed. What I want is pink piece to have some score, zero, we'll say. And I want down here for blue to also have a score. Oh, I don't need a space there. It is to get Godot in specific to do that return. You have to type inside of a string forward slash. Is that a forward slash? Yeah, that's a forward slash in. And Godot understands that as a return. And your instinct is going to be to type space blue colon it gets a space plus str blue piece score right that's going to be your instinct it, it, it let's just keep cooking i'm going to show you why that's funny in a second so if it's the pink piece turn give the pink piece a point. Otherwise, if it's the blue piece's turn, else we could copy and paste this because we really just need to replace pink and blue, don't we? You know, you could really do this with any color. I was just an ace bright and I picked pink and blue really fast. Not really that I would probably be say, saying pink and blue over and over for half a year. So let me change this to blue piece. Yep. 
score equals blue. Actually, like don't do this, but if you wanted like a square that would swap their scores, that would be how you would do it. Blue P score and then the score label text would still be the same thing. And we got to get this out of here because this is not code. Bye bye. And then all of this good stuff comes back up. Hello. Oh, you don't like that zero, do you? Feel better? Okay. If the pink piece is turned, give the pink piece um, a point and then change the label to that. Otherwise, if it's the blue piece's turn, give the blue piece a point and then do all that. There's a couple things wrong with this, but I'm going to run this code because this is what instinctually this is what you would do so let's go let's play some of you already see what's wrong do you see it let's click oh wait a minute hold on i've got roll set to 11 still hold on let me scroll up roll needs to equal six to get a point okay now we're gonna do it Does get OU signals? Yes, please give me a point. I did get it right. Thank you. <laughs> There's a couple things wrong. The easy thing to troubleshoot is why is there this giant space here? Bluff. Because it counts spaces. So you have to put blue right up next to the return, the slash in. Otherwise, it'll make it look goofy. That looks so wrong, but it's going to look so right. Watch. When it runs, it's going to look so right, is what I mean. Come on, pink piece. Are we using Godot 3 or Godot 4? Are we using Godot 4? Please give me a point. It's also awarding the wrong player the point what i'm pretty sure is happening is that it's flipping the turn faster than we can answer the question which is fine watch this i don't think we've done this before if you put an exclamation point in front of something that means not you can or at least you could in 3.5 yeah you can do it in four you can also type the word not I like the exclamation point. So if it's not the pink piece's turn, if you think it's not the pink piece's turn, then give. So if it's a blue piece's turn, give the pink piece a point. Otherwise, give the blue piece a point. Hacky, but guess what? It works. Let's get all you signals. Yep. Now the correct piece has the correct point. The other thing that we need to fix, like we can technically have the game start up with just this big zero here. I don't like it. You probably don't like it either. That's probably the first thing you clocked. Let's go down to our label. So it says score label. Change it. Pink. I said pink, didn't I? Zero. Blue, also zero. Depending on where you put your dice, you might want to move your dice to where it's somewhere like a little bit nicer. My dice is fine there. Let's run it. Let's see what we got. Oh my god, is that my friend's Steam notifications? <laughs> I don't know what game he was playing. He better hope it was wholesome. All right, let's click. Does get OU signals? Yes, it does. Drum roll. I got it right. Blue, let's see if we can give you a point. 
It's important to test this. Does Godot use signals? Yes. Blue can get a point too. And we're going to test it again, and I'm going to tell you why. The first time I did this, I actually couldn't get the points above one, and it took me forever to figure out why. I'm pretty sure this will give us two points. Does Godot use signals? Well, it'll give us one point, which will get us up to two. Let's make sure. Yep, this works. Let's make sure that blue can get up to two. Actually, let's get this wrong. Let's make sure blue doesn't get up to two, and then I'll show you why my code was bugged. We're using Godot. We're using Godot 3. Oh, no. Okay, this is working to my satisfaction. In my earlier version of the code, when I couldn't get piece above one, I had just had pink piece dot score equals score plus one, and score was always equaling zero. So it was just continuously setting the score to one. It was it was so goofy, but I fixed it and I'm giving you the right version. So that's all that matters. I am going to cut it here. You have an excellent one and you take it easy. Bye.